arise, black people arise. I mean, you more race smart in the girls, them planting. Africa is calling her children. Oh, 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 we have to go and fight for motherland. Yeah, big up Dan Sinclair, sane and unruly coolly. This is Aurea Smart in the girls them planting. Some boy run away when the champion are play. Good day, pleasant day, good afternoon to all the viewers and subscribers out there in the world. Welcome to another episode of Dancing Clear. On a really cool day, on site. Now, we have a special guest today up in the building. Very prominent, very promising, and he's a living legend. Sitting right to my left, his name is Horace Martin. Well, no, well, well on, well on, well on. I have the viewers know. You see, it's Aurea Martin, what you have to put on the thing on it. Aurea Martin, the girls then plant it. <laughs> you have to say that part. Now, viewers, you hear it for yourself. Aurea yeah. Martin, Martin yes. the girl then planting. All right, sir. Thank you very Listen, much, sir. Welcome, yes, welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, man. How it's been, how it's been so for a while? I have seen you in the UK, you know. You know what I mean? I know that you have tour all over the world. How it's been? Well, it's been good enough. Like? Yeah, like touring like Mexico, California, all over the world. You know, but right now I'm just in the UK as an, as a visitor. Tell us, what's the difference between um like the, the atmosphere like in the summertime in, in the UK and California? What's the difference? Well, you know, them 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 slightly different, you know, because you know, say all right, California, California. Yeah. And and um the UK are UK. I mean in terms but, of name, but the, yeah, but the, the weather. What's the weather the like? Well the weather in you know, the UK at an Ayaso. Yeah. Let me mean um California at an Ayaso. Right you. Right you. Down there so hot. But sometimes at evening time, like when it touch at six o'clock, the weather change, you know. Yes. Yeah, because yeah man, get a little cooler. We have a similar and, issue over here now. No, but for them thing are the same thing too. Right you. Right you. Right you like when it, yeah, when it touch certain time of the evening, you wonder some boy during the daytime California are fried. Nevada, Texas and all them places, but when it reaches them time of the year, the evening they get cool. So like performing in um, in California, right? You is that the energy the full of energy, right? You yeah, man. The sunset and the yeah, atmosphere just keep you going. Yeah, man. I know so the, the sun give you a lot of what I call it now, protein herbs, what them say. And so you know, when you under them sunshine there. Well, viewers, I don't know if you get protein, I only get sunburn in the sun. <laughs> You know, with respect to who get whatever you get. And but sexually, that, them, say the, them, 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 them sunshine, they make you get active, you know, so. For well, the man, them, you know, so boy, we need the light, you know. Well, at least that we definitely need it. So, um, for the viewers and um, the subscribers who listen and wonder who is Oris Martin, um, give us a little um, insight of some of the songs that we do, like, to, to, to refresh their memory. All right, Oris Martin has been singing since the age of 12. See, the first recording I have done is when I was 30, which is called Awake Jaja Children, yeah. and I sang me a beautiful dream, yeah. which in those times went into the Black Echo reggae chart in the number one spot yeah. back in them time. Then. And then, but now those songs, I have still been recording those songs over and over. Still, and them songs are still in the low pool. And your first number one, what label did that come out on? What label? The, all right, the first number one tune is um, uh, from the Dennis Star label, Sting Never Sting But A Shock Me A Shock, yeah. which was um, done in 1982. Yeah. Yeah, um, Dennis Star label, and that song yeah. went number one right around yeah. the place, New York, Canada, and uh, Jamaica. And it even was the, the, in, in that year, the year of review, it was the number one song. It was number seven in the Jamaica Top 100 chart for that year. Number there. seven. Number seven in the Top 100 chart for the, the music year in review. Yeah. Back in them days there. So, prior to them time and now, does the music really like um, evolve around based on the chart or just I'm not gonna sing a song because it's just song is gone number one, but based on the producer and all that now. Based on your, your time. Well, alright, my time, a real chart. Yeah. But nowadays, thing of me say, can you know me have to tell them? But hold on, hold on. Remember what you say? Yeah. When you say real chart, 
All right. You need to explain to me what you mean. All right. Never tell. All right. Never tell. I mean, we're younger than you, you know. Yes. We have to know the real thing from the artificial. All right. No. In my time, yeah. see, most of them artists, when you see them sing, and you see them make a number one tune, back yeah. in them days, the record was selling yeah. more than now. Yeah. See? So, those songs now go up on the chart, yeah. seen by sales. Okay. But now, yeah. most of these songs now, tune about them now by record, yeah. them are download, and them are do all kind of things. Yeah. See? So, it's a different atmosphere with the charting. And you're in nowadays so you can buy your way to the chart. Okay. You can buy your way to likes. Yeah. How much likes you get you can pay yeah. feet. Right. You see me? I wanna ask you something. Like based on um like now we got social media in this modern time now. We got social media, we got the WhatsApp, the all the digital social media, the digital stuff. Yeah, the online, YouTube right? In your time as you said you were singing since the age of 12? Yeah, 12. 12 right? yeah, 12 years how did you yeah. promote uh, like like your first single? How, how did you promote it to, to get to, uh, to number one? To number one. How did you promote it? Like, Alright. What was the promotional scheme like then? Alright. You see me now, okay. when, uh, uh, me, in uh, my days, yeah. used to walk and sell my record. Okay. See, me used to walk with my little bag and go to the record shop. Sometimes a man we had a 25. Yeah. Me used to sell all some exporter for England. Yeah. Because most of my, that's why a lot of People never really know of Orius Martin. Yeah. My big up in a Europe, even now in my country. You know? yeah. Because what happened in a them days, eh, the producer them used to record me from Jamaica yes. and carry come to Europe because they wanted the pound. Because yeah. the pound is stronger in a them days. Yeah. So most of my songs them come across Europe. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the record in sales now, we used to walk and sell our own record at the record shop. Yeah. You know, go and this record shop, Jew Creed record shop. Caxon record shop. My man will take you might take ten and next man take twenty-five. Yeah. And if the song I go, you know what I mean a man say, carry a hundred, run this record don't have don't have chance to in the song. Yeah. See, them used to take all when me go them say, Oh yes, I want two hundred of the tunes, sting them a sing and we have to yeah. depress our work. Yeah. See? I wanna ask you some question where it's not really the question we generally ask an artist, right? Yeah. But it's a, it's a question that I feel like I should, I should ask you that because a quote, as a legend, a quote, I think you got the answer for this question, right? Yeah. Now, as you said, you were you were singing since um, the age of twelve, right? Yeah. And you were um, you must work around a lot of um, different producers, mm -hmm. such as you remember Drew, you said Drew Creed and all them. As for example, which one of the best studio that you've been in that you hear a sound that you never get that sound nowhere in the world? You're, you're trying to hear about that sound, the musical sound. Well, I can tell you, studio one. You know. Studio one. Yeah, cause I'm work at Studio One Studio. I'm work at Beverly Studio. Yeah. Me, um, it's Patinja. Yeah. Where um, I think Corey Sandy, uh, him around this one out at uh, Oxford Street and yeah. um, Bond Street now Western Kingston. Yeah. I think Corey Sandy did this one out. So yeah. them studio was Drew Creek, but um, Coxon was the man. That's them, one, yeah, yeah, the man. The Studio One did have a song. Them 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 studio was a legendary. What's it like working with Coxon, like the, 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 the dad of the world? No, man, What's Coxon, like working with the, 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 Coxon, the, the, the man there, the, the, you know, everybody have them fans, but still yeah. the one you have to give him praises. Because yeah. the man, they take this, this, the music thing serious. Can remember when I sing, yeah. the music just said, da 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 And they look away there. You have to vice back the song over and over. Because I see the man, him, him, still the one, even a vice, Ken Booth. And Dennis Brown, because Dennis Brown was one of my inspirers, Aurea Sandy, yeah. back in them days. Eh. Although me and them man, they did they on the same level yeah. as artists. Because yeah. Dennis Brown, if him never die, rest in peace, yeah. my brother Brown. See, him was about two years older than me. You know. okay. See, because if Dennis Brown was alive right now, he would be about six or two. Yeah. You see me? So, him, in the history of music, the man inspired me. Yeah. So when we say all Dennis Brown coming, no man is an island. I mean, as I look at you with them too, yeah. but me still never there sing. Yeah. I mean, I say blood bath and the man the camera go up a coxin. Yeah. I'm go up there with and watch Delroy Wilson, Eptones, yeah. the whole of them man the Delroy and, and and Freddie McKay, yeah. all of them top guns there. Yeah. If I should ask you three artists yeah. and three group in Jamaica that inspire you. Could you name three artists that inspire you? Alright, as reggae artists. As reggae artists. Alright, three artists that inspire me in my time. Yeah. As I tell you, Dennis Brown. Yeah. Aurea Sandy. Yeah. 
seen an uh, Errol Dunkley too. Yeah. Them, 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 them you, they, they, they are my inspiration. See? And, and what's the reason being um, their inspiration that inspire your inspiration? All right, because you see them you, they know them time, they them sing with melody. Yeah. If you notice, they're always and them, but, and then, and Aurea Sandy. Every tongue shall tear. See? Yeah. Because when Aurea Sandy used to be in New York, yeah. When him never there at Jamaica for all them years, he used to sing Aurea Sandy tune by every stage show. Okay. And Dennis Brown too. Yeah. So what about the groups? All right, the groups, Mighty yeah. Diamonds. Yeah. You know, and um, which group again? Culture. Yeah. Joseph Hill. Yeah. And um, who, who again? Um, Third World. All right, Third World, Mighty Diamonds, and Culture. Them group there. A powerhouse. So I don't perform with them group there. Yeah. Group there. Yeah. As we grew up, you know. What's your favorite uh, Mighty Diamond song? Eh? What's your favorite Mighty Diamond song? I need a roof over my head. Third world? Third world. Damn. Damn. My creator. Did, 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 did. Wait, yeah. uh, try your love. Come here, could try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try your love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yep. yeah, and the other one? And, um, and um, culture. What a li bam bam ba ye When the two sevens clash You say them them, them tune they are powerhouse tune No no back to army um, you, you you know um I know that you reside um, in um, Canada Yeah Canada you, as you're living right now Yeah man What's it like um like the, the whole family life and structure of living in Canada as well, a regular artist? Alright, you see Canada yeah. is a family place yeah. because and Canada is is one of the nicest places me live away from Jamaica. Yeah. on earth. Why? What, what, what because, is so nice? All right, Canada, one clean country, yeah. more family oriented. And that me tie up in the family business. Yeah. That's why I made it stop sing for at least two years yeah. of my time. Because you know, you get wife and you get kids and you just get caught up yeah. in the family. Yeah. Thing. Comfortable. Comfortable. And Relax. people say to me, say, oh, yes, you stop sing. Yeah. And I say, well, I tell you know, I'm going to start. I'm going to come back now and sing the song with him, Positive Vibes. Yeah. Which may have the album them there now. Yeah. So. Um, before we get to um, um, those songs, I see you do some recording for the Buzzwalk label that are uh, in from the UK, right? How, how did um, that does all. Um, yeah, man. Buzzwalk um, Traveling. Yeah. Yeah, that. That mashup, song. Because yeah, tra I, I played that song a lot on the radio and I didn't know it was you. Yeah, man. Until um, I meet you and they said, that's the man that sing the song. All right, and that, and that song, they got a, a number one in Kenya, you know. Oh, oh, what the inspiration behind the song? Because the song was one of them songs that were, when they hear it, they say, oh, oh, oh. you know, you know, it, it, have, it have a little something in it. All right. It hit you. All right. You know, say, I'm there with there, and I'm Buzz Rock, Bucky Joe. We sit down here and the tune I play. Come have a song on it, we pan the rhythm and mash up the whole place. You know. I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm moving with a positive vibes. And then I say, I say, we are traveling, traveling all over the world. And Bucky Joe said, you know, so I have something for that rhythm there. I would have, we just, we just build it right or so. One take, one take. One take, but Bucky Joe said, we say, Bucky Joe, play the rhythm. And then Bucky Joe said, I'm going to find something and then vice it. My voice is one shot in this, a bucket you take my voice. Because, you know, you know, you know what happened? Um, you know, artists that recorded in the 70s, late 80s, mid 80s, coming back to the 90s, after a while they stopped recording and living off of them old Lion Lag. Or you smart in the I mean, like, for, for a vintage artist, as I, I said, classic artist yeah. where you can't stop recording if you feel like you, you got things in a modern time right now. You know what I mean? How do you keep up with the young man? Yeah, them man, man. Fire, how they want to go on? Alright, let me tell you something. You see, the youths, I me me love the youths. Yeah. See? That's why I stay so young. I love a pure youth in my power in Canada. Yeah. And it, me, a pure young girls in my date. Yeah. You see me? Because I love, me just love feel young. Keep the thing natural. Yeah. A pops them call me in Canada. Yeah. Even the little young thugs, them and them, them say pops. One time some little man disrespect me and him say, Pops, they come to my town and disrespect you, Pops. And I said, don't worry, son. Yeah. Come on, I said, man, don't worry about them and keep them because these young youths, 
them in them take the inspiration from we. Yeah. And if them want to deal with crime, criminal activity, and we the elders yeah. have to try to curb them. Yeah, you know what I mean? We have to try to teach them what is right from what is wrong. Yeah. See? As not all of them are listening, you know. Some of them will still listen to the and say, okay, Pops. And when they go around the corner, they yeah. not see Pops. Yeah. So they do something yeah. different. So, you know, I love, just love work with you. I, I mean, basically, you say that you, you love the young boy thing, I think. So, are you into the social media um, lifestyle and that? Like, the, the, I mean, in the, everything. The, 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 the Facebook and the everything, Twitter. Man. And the, Google, and Twitter. Say, so, so, so whatever subscribe I'm looking to, um, like to say, I want to link up. Um, or it's smart, right? We can't find it on Facebook. What should it, it, it tap in right now on um, it's maybe it's Android or computer at home? All right. Or it's smart in 209 at atmail.com. I'm going to give you all my number to you look at the world for is, is that is, is that for the Facebook or the Instagram? Instagram, it's Orius underscore Martin for Instagram. Is he's in it now? He tell you underscore now. So See, you know I go on it. So, me, so me, me there we are at that time. See, I don't know what my number to. If you know they are England, you don't want to reach me. For all of the ladies here. Promoters, I'm ladies. listening up. And promoters. The real deal. 001 2120. That's my Canada number there. That you can reach me now. Even for WhatsApp, because I that WhatsApp number. Because I don't mean, play for you with my number. So, I don't do that when I cut you. I do that one time I buy a beer, you know. My girl have gone Well, I know. You know. I'm at the hotel. The man them tell me, say, at the hotel, say, Horace, the, the switchboard, jam, before I reach your hotel. <laughs> Jam! See? But this is for business people. I mean, Oris is creating wave, you know what I mean? Yeah, this man. Is Oris Martin, the living legend. The girls them planting. You have your the girls them planting. Yeah. Me remember, me yeah. no know him said it, and if yeah. you just repeat it, he yes, said it, the girl them planting. But tell us, um, with the new thing that I know you have a new album. All right. You said on, on the road right now. Yeah, I have a new album Give coming out. Yeah, coming yeah, I mean. out with. Um, What's the title? The title is called Arise Black People. Yeah. Arise. See? And um, it's coming out on the Taz J production label. Yeah. Because I have my own management team now, I have my booking agent team. And would you wish to tell your subscribers who they are? Yeah. Taz J production music. That's Taz J. Taz J and musical ambassador. Yeah. So them, you, can, you, can, you can contact any one of those two. But Taz J now is the one that I'm working with. And I can be a little part of the new album, which will be released for the summer. See? Arise, black people, arise. Arise and let your enemies scatter. We were brought here from the motherland. We were brought here in this big plantation. We were brought here, boy, from Africa to slave in this plantation. Yo, I. But we are God picking it, them can't hold it. God picking it. Yeah, see? So that is just a part of the album and and I'm sure. So when it, the when the come album. on, because right now I know I know the viewers and right now got a top 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 like button and they want to know when exactly them can run maybe a digital store to try to buy this online or when we're looking for it, when, when, when in the summer? By the by, by the, the late summer to early September. And it's consists of how many, how many tracks? Um ten tracks. Try ten tracks plus a bonus. Plus a bonus. So when yeah. I get level. Yeah, twinkie twinkie. You, twinky, twinky. you know what I mean? You girls, love your body, I go on. Twinky, twinky, dance a twinky, twinky, twinky. Love for your bumper, a roll and a shake. All of them and them want a slice of your cake. Who can't get it, them and say I saw a grape. Wanna give them and them idiot. Girls, you girls, love your body, I go on. Twinky, twinky, dance a twinky. I want to hear, man, a tough, tough thing, man. So, That's why I have to sing for the young youth, yeah. them, you know, and the young girls, because they love them things, you know. I know you're original um, dance hall, reggae star. Yeah, man. If, if you got a chance in life to um, to say, like, you know, I don't want to do no more reggae, I don't want to do no more dance hall, what genre of music will you go for to say, you know, try this up, me All right. What other music you listen other than reggae music? I listen to slow music, like, I have some, uh, I have some song, I have some singer like uh, Brooke Benton, I listen to. Benton. I know some of my favorite R&B soul yeah. singer, them. Uh, Whitney Houston yeah. Legend. And, and the girl and uh, Michael Jackson. Legend. Yeah. See? Yeah. Rihanna, yeah. I like her, I like her style. Yeah. She's a girl that I like too. Yeah. As 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 R and B artists and everything. You know? Yeah man. Yeah man, but big respect every time man and 
Yeah, man. Love the whole vibration. I would like. And big up Dan yeah, Sinclair and, and Rolly Cooley. You know and Rolly Cooley. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. a mini Maria Smart in the girls them planting, yeah. seen and they always wanting. See, and viewers, do remember to subscribe and click the like button. You know what I mean? Keeping it done and Sinclair, reggae vibe, sure. Bless it.